Welcome back to Defenders Wise. I am Dr. Paul. Thank you for joining us today. Please send me your questions and also visit my website www.drpaul.org to subscribe to my podcast and also to support this ministry. Send me a friend invite on facebook.com also. Thank you for sending me your questions. Now I answer all questions in a biblical way, in a politically incorrect way, and some of my answers might uh, sound offensive to you. So please uh, excuse me if I cause any offense. Okay. Today's question: Julie Rice criticized Sarah Davis Zacharias over third marriage. Is this right? Good question. Julie Rice published an article on Sarah Davis on her website www.roycereport.com. First, Julie criticized Alicia Woods' video criticizing cancel culture. So Alicia made a video criticizing this is not forgiveness, this is not redemption, and all that. Alicia says cancel culture is anti-Christian. Julie says. RGIM has a cover-up culture, and calling it to repent is not anti-Christian. I agree with Julie on this. Pointing out abuse is not anti-Christian. Pointing out sin is not uh, anti-Christian. Don't hide behind cancel culture. Don't hide behind critical race theory. Don't blame the Democrats. We should ask accountability from our Christian leaders. Now, Alicia Wood should not be making such videos. Sarah should not be using this sister to carry her dirty laundry. The Bible commands us to speak truth in love. Okay, speak truth in love. What is the truth? Be transparent. So, speaking truth is not cancel culture. Sarah Davis left RZIM and immediately started a new ministry. And uh, Julie says they are sending letters to the donors of RGIM, and all you got to do is to download all the donor information into a pen drive and uh, upload to a new computer in a new office with a new name. It's very simple to start a new organization, and uh, uh, taking all that uh, contacts from uh, RGIM. Julie says that is also not looking right. I agree. Why are you in a hurry? Your bubble just burst. Relax. Take time. Spend some time in introspection. It does not look like Sarah Davis has much patience. She and everybody in her team should resign and give the responsibilities to an all new team. Some donors already sued RZIM to give them an account of their donations, and I think that's a fair request. If you donate to some organization, you would like to know what happened to your donation. So Shara should provide those accounts in a transparent way before starting a new Christian organization. Julie also criticized Sarah Davis for getting engaged to Louis Phillips. This will be her third marriage. She is forty-six and Phillips is thirty. I agree with Julie on this also. Yes, I understand people have personal reasons and struggles and all that. But when you want to lead a Christian organization, you should have a stable marital life. If you are picking up husbands from the speaking team, you oversee that does not look good to the world. Even in politics, we use it to have high standards. When Newt Gingrich left his second wife to marry the third one, I like Newt Gingrich. I read his books, and he gave divorce to his second wife, who was struggling with cancer, and announced that he would run for U.S. president. I felt uncomfortable. People said that it is not a good example to the world. When Rush Limbaugh married his fourth wife. People said that is not conservatism, that is not a good example to the world. Donald Trump married Melania Trump, that was his third marriage and her first marriage. A thrice married man is the president of the United States. People said that does not look good. 
and i agree that does not look good to the young people who wants to get married paula white was the senior pastor of new destiny christian center she is with her third husband when you change a husband every 5 years that does not look good so paula white filed bankruptcy and started a new ministry now called paula white ministries uh, the problem is sadly this is becoming a norm among christian leaders and uh, when people look them together when thrice married paula white giving blessings over thrice married donald trump in the white house uh, it looked awkward to say the least even cnn commentators questioned that how can christianity bless such a thing I agree with that. That's not a good example to the people of the world. Similarly, a thrice married woman leading a Christian apologetics ministry, that is not good optics. Let me give you an example. Let us say there is a church, it has a pastor. The pastor divorced his second wife and married a Sunday school teacher in the church as his third wife. Such a scenario would bring lots of questions why did he leave his second wife when did his interest start in the sunday school teacher any sinful attractions play a role in the whole escapade we got to ask all those questions christian apologists should be about reproach in the same way coming to sarah davis zacharias She is leading a Christian organization. She divorced her husband and then engaged to a man who works under her in her speaking team. That triggers a lot of questions. When did you divorce your second husband? When did your special relationship start with your soon to be new husband Louis Phillips? Did Ravi Zacharias know about these happenings? Knowing all these things, Ravi made Sarah the CEO of his organization. So, I would question the spiritual discernment of Ravi Zacharias in making his daughter the CEO of his organization. So, Julie asked the right questions. Sarah Javis should not be leading Sarah. a christian apologetics ministry her cover up at rgim and uh, her three marriages her impatience to start a new ministry all right they do not show us a spiritually stable matured christian okay now if you look even other religions i often think about narendra modi prime minister of india he messed up his marriage and then he said rest of my life is for the country and for god okay christian leaders uh, should learn from people like narendra modi okay rather than going after fourth wife five fifth wife third wife they should devote their time to serve the lord like narendra modi sadly today people are terrified of christian apologists Christian apologists are afraid of calling themselves apologists. A toxic atmosphere descended around Christian apologetics. We need a lot of repentance and introspection at this time. So we don't need new organizations. We need new uh, hearts. We need new ways, new contrition, new spirits. the moral landscape around us is deteriorating as christians we are having less and less influence on this culture why because our life is not matching up with the ideals we preach thrice married individuals are leading christian organizations and institutions and the atheist who has been living with his wife is the first wife for the last 50 years would laugh at us i the atheist can live with my first wife for the last 50 years why did you pick up your third wife so 
my answer to your question is i agree with julie royce when you did a massive cover up of your father's sins you should resign and transfer your responsibilities to someone with a good testimony and uh, so that's my answer to your question folks uh, like this video share your comments and subscribe to my channel we crossed the 9000 subscribers and i would like to see 10000 subscribers so subscribe to this channel and also recommend your friends to subscribe to this channel because we want to see 10000 subscribers to this channel okay thank you so much god bless you have a nice day